So then yesterday afternoon, I just happened to look out in the backyard and wonder why our bird feed disappears pretty quick sometimes. Check this bunch out. This was all out in the backyard. Um, there was three running around, a big doe again, and two fawns. So just the amount of deer get to the house and you rarely ever see them here in the woods. And the house right in the middle of a little community in that little town, <laughs> that houses all around us, downtown and uh, the houses all around us so pretty crazy but it's kind of neat that i've been in that house in a couple of months it'll be 17 years and i see deer at least monthly if not weekly i've never seen a rack of horns that's the first buck i have seen there in 17 years so i don't he's probably not gone too far but uh, crazy it was something to see anyway we're here we're back we're not gonna we can't do a whole lot this weekend it's gonna pour freaking rain again tonight or not tonight, but tomorrow. I think it's supposed to be pretty wet, showers and rainy and that tomorrow. So, and Sunday both. Um, for dinner, we're going to do nachos again, and we're going to do chimney oven nachos again. Instead of using the propane, I'm going to go outside here in a bit. I'll bring you guys along. We'll show you the nachos and that. going to do them up, throw them in the chimney oven. And I got, I don't know, I'd call it exciting news, but I got a new project that I'm probably going to build. Um... And I'll show you guys, I haven't even, I've got sort of in my head what I want. And it's going to be out behind the garage, my hillbilly garage I built over here. And might as well tell you what it's going to be is possibly a little bunky of some sort. Tasha over next door got me inspired having something a little cute in that to spend a night in, just something little and cozy. And I kind of want something over here, I always did. I had the truck camper when I first stayed here on the property. I spent a whole winter. I spent minus 25 degree nights in that little truck camper with a wood stove in my little living room in the back. And I was nothing but cozy. I loved it. And sometimes this is just more than you need. And even in the summer, it gets right hot near some days and that. You can't cool it off at night. We go out and sleep in the bunkie. So I found some pallets for sale and they're plywood pallets. The top is plywood, they're 48, they're the size of the ones that I did my woodshed here with. They're 48 by 40, but they're half inch plywood. And it even almost looks like birch when you look at the pattern, the grain. I think these are hardwood plywood plywood pellets, six bucks a piece. So we're thinking of going and buying a bunch of them. I'd probably buy 30, 35 at least, and see if I can throw some kind of little bunkie together over here behind the uh, garage and the brook so if this i'll go out for a walk a little later and show you guys or maybe even tomorrow in the morning we'll see i'll show you the area i want to do it in that and it's going to be quite a bit of work because i got to prep the ground and everything lay out some logs in that and figure out how i'm going to do it so and i'm going to go probably i'd go two pallets wide to so be eight feet wide and if you went four long they're 40 so it'd be 160 inches a little over 13 feet 13 foot three i think it is so if I went 8 by 13 and Tasha built hers narrow and long looking at the sun that way, um, basically looking at the west, I would do the same thing with this one, but I'll go the other dimension and probably shed style roof and that. I've got a shed at home, a baby barn I built, or a shed years ago that's 8 by 16, and it's pretty much the same design I think as what I'll build here again. So kind of looking forward to doing that. Give me a project and, you know, I'll film it right from the start, bring you guys along for the ride and see what you think. Comments will be welcome. So, and we want to throw something up kind of on the cheap, right? Because we're cheap. So they don't get any cheaper. We're poor. <laughs> so if anybody wants to donate to the Bunky Project, help yourself. <laughs> the email is there. Cindy's tired of selling livers and kidneys and all her stuff. She's running out of body parts. So she's been selling parts to keep us going here for a while. So it's been a rough go. But, you know, new trucks, all that stuff, man. You got to get the money from somewhere. So, you know, donate blood. And, man, if we were in the States, we could make a fortune. Not so much of that goes on in Canada. That's more American thing, I think. And I should probably shut up. I don't know about any of that either. But anyway... Yeah, quarter after three for now. Um, we're going to get our dinner going here very soon. So the nachos, so I guess I'll probably get back with you guys once we get the nachos, start to build them. Kitties are here too, so it's nice to be back in the woods. Nice to have you guys back. Everybody, we are back. It is Nacho Night. <laughs> it's Nacho Night. <laughs> Cindy has this stuff all cut up. These are all the toppings we're going to put on. She's got a mountain of cheese, and I'm going to tell you, I, I'm, yeah, 
Okay, we won't get into that right now. Um, mountain of, that is red pepper, yellow pepper, onions, and tomatoes. All put through our little dice master thing here that you put in, you push down, it dices it. So, works the very best. And over here, she has hamburger started, which has taco seasoning on it. Right. So, fresh hamburger. Actually, we got a side of beef here a while back this winter from a local farm. So, this is fresh beef. This is not grocery store stuff. This is real stuff. This isn't stuff that's, you know, so close to being rotten that you have one day to eat it. This stuff will actually last a couple days in your fridge. It's kind of really nice for a change. Anyways, we're going to get this cooked up. I have to go outside and get the chimney oven fired up. So anyways, I'm going outside now, and uh, this is going to be a total experiment. I have a light I'm going to set up and try to film in the dark with a GoPro. Um, normally, anybody that tries to ever do this, you can't film in the dark with a GoPro without any kind of backlighting. So I've got a new light I bought Amazon, and I'm going to use it actually to do some of my outdoor shots with. So it's a pretty cool little LED light, actually. Got two of them in tripods. So anyway, let's go outside and let's get the... Uh, should I fire the chimney oven up first? Yeah, probably get it hot, and then we'll put the uh, stuff together. Well, again, I don't know what this video is going to look like because I'm experimenting with lighting right now. So, experiment lighting the stove, too. Then we get this thing fired up. It's been a while. Been a while since I used the old chimney oven. This thing works so freaking good, eh? Quite a unit, got to say, quite a unit. But hopefully this will light no problem at all. Then we're going to go in and get the nachos put together and fired up. Throw them in here. Shouldn't take 10 minutes once they're in here to cook. Bake. You just got to brown them and melt the cheese. This dry cedar, so it should light pretty good. See what happens here. Give her a minute. Well, here we go. It's starting to take off pretty decent already, as you guys can see. I love this rig. It's still cold. It's not cold out. It's about 6 degrees, I think, right now. Celsius. So that is 45, maybe? 43? Something like that. But this wood is silly, silly dry. Very nice and dry. So there shouldn't be any problem getting this fire going. And getting this box up to probably 350 degrees here in probably 10 minutes or so. I wouldn't think it'll take much more than that. I think the lighting's decent on this, I have to say. It's not bad. It's, uh, you know, I've never done this before. I don't know. That's a pretty cool little light I got. Because if not, out here at night, you'd see nothing. <laughs> Using the GoPro, you'd see nothing. It'd just be black. They don't pick up nighttime stuff very well. But it's so convenient to film with. Uh, it's easy to use. I was just reading the comments today from last week's videos and Alex S, buddy, I hope you're feeling okay. Um, must be brutal what you had to just go through the, you know, procedure and all that. And uh, hopefully you're feeling better and hopefully you're on the mend and bounce back. And you, you know, we always welcome your <laughs> comments here. It's, uh, you know, I always look forward to them. You gotta stick around for a while and take care of yourself. And I gotta learn from those words too because, yeah, I gotta smarten up myself. Looks pretty nice, eh? Well, it is time to assemble these bad boys. Cindy's already picking them out of there, stealing chips. All right, let's put a layer of chips on to start this process. It's going to be quite a plate of nachos, and we're definitely not going to eat all these tonight for dinner. I know that. Because we've got a lot of toppings here to put on. Stuff's going to be falling off, so it's going to happen. Two minutes the first layer. We have to layer this stuff up, so and you put some of your mix of veggies. You know, 
some hamburger with the nacho seasoning already in it. Some people put salsa in it, but I don't like doing that because I find it makes them soggy when you do that. Well, oh, it's too slow. This works. This works. Just shake it around a bit. Thank you, though. My lovely assistant, Cindy. Cindy Sweathog. <laughs> I'll take that out. Whoops. Good stuff. Wow, you got some cheese chunks here going on. It's stuck that together, eh? Right? Yeah. This is warm. Mm -hmm. It is warm in here. 22 degrees in the cabin right now. Four outside. Mm -hmm. That's okay. There you go. It's falling all over the friggin' floor. <laughs> How's that for a mountain, guys? Not Joe Mountain. Yeah, stuff won't stay on her anymore. It's just rolling off in the floor. So, well, gotta get some over here. Cindy's got the guardrail up. There we go. <laughs> How's that? Wow. Yeah, is that good? That's is that enough? Like <laughs> what do you think of that freaking mess? Check like this out. Unbelievable. How's that for a pile of goodness? Yeah, here we go, everybody. Check these bad boys out. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Nice stuff. I know the lighting's kind of weird out here tonight, but anyway. I'm going to stand on this side. I can see better because it's getting hot in there real quick. Real quick, real hot. It is already 350 degrees. So I have to be careful. It doesn't get too hot. I have to actually close that door and choke it down a bit. She's getting warm. She's cooking. Cooking with oil. Funny how fast the temp just went up too. It was only 200 degrees. I was kind of wrestling with the temperature here for a while. And then all of a sudden, whoop, right up to 350 in there. 375 probably, yeah. And if it gets too hot like I did before, I might have to open the door every now and then let some heat out because this thing gets so freaking hot. So, but they're cooking away. Yeah, once the fire starts to go. And this whole thing is just radiating heat off it right now. Turn it, it's almost black. You can see the color has darkened right down on it because it's getting so hot. Eh? Funny how metal will do that. But that's perfect. We're sitting about 375 right now. So let's hang out for a while. Quite a rig. It's about 390. Staying about 385, 390 right now is where the temperature's at. It's just beautiful in there what these things are doing. And they already smell awesome. Starting to heat up a little bit here. Probably 10 minutes in there, I would think. Yep. Yeah. Cheese is already starting to melt and run down off of them, so. But that thing is just radiating. If you're chilly, come on out, stand beside this, man. That thing's throwing heat like crazy. Hanging out Friday night, having some eggnog with Cynthia. In the bush. Close to that, just go in there by the side of it where it's oh, warm. I'm warm right here. Nice. Yeah, Pretty she's good. cooking. Yeah, she's almost 400, 383, 9. Temperature's staying there. Oh, the cheese, cheese. cheese is dripping already in there, starting to melt and run right off. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You're blocking the light though. Oh. Sorry. Should I get you the pot holders? No, but they're. Oh. Man, they're brown and quick in there. Yeah. If I'm not real careful, I'm going to burn these bad boys. Check this stuff out. Check those out. They look wonderful. 
And I got to be careful because it is so hot in there right now that uh, I can burn them really, really easy here. So. Cheese is melting. That dropped just a couple degrees. Brought her back to about 375. So let's only be a couple more minutes. We're gonna have to take these out of here anyway. I just want to make sure the cheese melts through. They're so thick. Eh? I don't think they're quite done yet. Whoops. I don't need them yet, but soon. Why do we never get marshmallows? When I close the door, it slows her down a bit. I don't know, we never remember them, but beautiful fire going. Well, there you go. Apparently, these things are done already, so I'm going to grab these with the oven mitts so I don't burn myself because that is putting out an insane amount of heat right now. This thing is just starting to rock. <laughs> no, I gotta be careful getting these out of here too. Drop them. Okay, can you go get the door for me, please? Well, there you go. How tasty do these things look? Gonna be a wonderful meal. Gonna be a very good meal. Sit down, enjoy our nachos, and try not to be pigs of ourselves. Well, we're back. It is Sunday morning, 10 after 8. The nachos were awesome. That was Friday night. Yesterday it rained all day, so we didn't really make any content at all. Just kind of kicked back here and enjoyed the day, kept the place warm, and just enjoyed being here. So, anyway, it's kind of neat. I built my channel a lot. I think I got a lot of new subscribers, and I know they made the comment because they like my authenticity and they like my realness. I don't stage anything, I don't make anything up, and I'm going to tell you how it is. That's the kind of person I am. So, this is kind of neat, what went down here a few weeks ago. I had a company contact me. And they want me to sell, or not sell, but they wanted me to just do a little promotional video on some footwear. Uh, the company's called Fitville. Fitville. Um, sent me an email, said we'll send you some free shoes or whatever. Uh, they got a pretty large catalog, a good selection of stuff. And they said, you know, we're, uh, we're going to send you a pair. I'm not going to get, I don't make any money on each sale, but I'll get some free footwear out of it. So, so well, why not? Send me the boots. Send me something. So, um, so anyways, I said, why not? send me something so what they did they gave me there's a few people on youtube i guess promote their stuff and they have an influencer uh, section in there she sent me the link of that and i picked out a pair of boots because i just winter's coming on and that um you know here in the maritimes uh it gets pretty bad we get a lot of snow and blah 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 a lot of my viewers i realize aren't here so that's why this is going to work um if my viewers are here it wouldn't be as great because i don't really sell winter boots they have boots, and I selected a pair of them, and they're pretty cool. Um, I'm going to show you here in a minute, but what happened, and I'm going to be honest, because I was kind of told what to say a little bit, and just kind of how great they are and all that. Well, I want to wear them a couple days and see if I think they're great. When I first got them, I got them out of the box. I kind of laughed a little bit because of the look. I'm a 56-year-old man. Um... I don't care. I'll dress. I'll wear anything. I don't, I don't really care what people think of me clothing-wise. But anyway, they're geared more, I think, at a little older generation than me. These boots specialize in wide sizes and all their footwear. These guys sell Fitville. Specialize in wide sizes, wider than normal. Uh, basically, triple E with or quadruple E with for people with diabetic feet, uh, bad circulation, plantar fasciitis, all the different foot problems. People have a hard time walking. My feet are great. I have no problems, but I do have extremely wide feet. My left foot uh, is wider than my right, so and it was bigger. I should have all my life had two different size shoes, and I never really did. I ended up with one pair of boots or one pair of shoes, but of the one size, I should have had one size off. My feet are that big a difference. So anyways, I thought, well, I'll give these boots a try. So I got them. I looked at them at first, 
And I thought, you got to be kidding me. I can't wear these. I just can't. So I'm going to show you guys what I got here. But after I wore them a couple days, they're pretty freaking comfortable. And they're very easy to wear. Check these out. These are kind of neat. I had two choices in the color. I could have got black with black. Or I chose to get brown. Which come with this. Well, a lot of people wouldn't care. They'd think it looked good in that. I'm just a little weird. But anyways... Looking past this here, these are super light. They have a really nice tread on them. And you know what I love is they're so easy to put on. You just basically put it on like a slipper. You slide your foot in and you're done. You Velcro it. And you're on the go. Well, what I've been doing is wearing them like that. It's a good looking boot. But they're comfortable. I went out the other day, did a few pickup and deliveries of snow throwers. Slid these things on, went out the door and thought, you know what? I'm going to give them an honest test. And when I come home, I even said to Cindy, you know what? I made fun of these, but actually I don't mind them at all. People that watch my videos, a lot of them I know are in, in the States and warmer States and that, and people don't see snow in that like we do. So the major majority of people who would be considering buying something like this are not looking for something that goes to their knee like we need around here. They have big old mucklocks, right? These are fine. And they all, they're almost like a house slipper, yard slipper. Uh, and again, they have a nice aggressive sole. They're waterproof up to here, you know. So I'm not sure what material. You, it's like a nylon Dacron. This is almost like a simulated leather here in the heels. Like they're, they're fairly well made, but they're comfortable. These are a 13 wide, and they're actually wider probably than I need. So, and the best thing is... And the best thing is now, the way they set it up, there's a promo code shown in the description. The pricing is really good on their products. Um, free shipping and anything over $49. And they have a promo code. I think it's Dave30. I'll show the link in the description at the bottom of the video. The first 20 people that want to buy something like this are going to give 30% off. That's a pretty good discount. Um, and again, they have a lot of sneakers, a lot of different indoor footwear, workwear, hiking, like different things like that. They don't have a lot of boots. Me being a Canadian lumberjack kind of guy, I wish they had a larger boot selection and maybe fit Bill Will. Maybe they will expand their selection to get more of a hiker style. But a lot of their stuff is Velcro. Wicked. Easy to get on, easy to get off. When you're six foot three, like I am six foot two, almost six foot three, that's a long way down to bend over to tie laces. So I love wearing something like this because they're so easy to put on and off my feet. So again, they, uh, I kind of laughed at first and still wish I had it got probably black on black. But you know what? They're not a bad boot. And I am, uh, you know, I'm going to wear them. They're super, super light is a nice thing too, right? They have a nice plush insole on the bottom and all that. They are comfortable for your feet, very comfortable. So again, a win for you guys, Fitville, and thank you for the free footwear. Anybody wants to check it out again, the link will be in the description and all that. And you can order a pair for anything again over $49. It'll be free shipping. It took me about a week to get them, so it wasn't that bad from when they shipped them to me. So... Pretty much enough for this weekend, I guess. Cindy's got her cleaned up over there. She's smiling. We got a bunch of stuff we got to do today. Uh, we're going to get on the road and uh, oh, it's going to be quite a day. But anyway, uh, great to have you guys back. Not positive yet about the bunky thing, what's going to go down there. These pallets are about an hour and a half drive away. I, I may go get them. I don't know. I'm crazy. Maybe I don't need a project right now, but as a lot of you guys probably know, I like to get something. I, I like to always have something on the go, be doing something. So. It's, uh, I don't know, not sure about that. Anyways, wonderful to have you guys all back again. Uh, hopefully we'll see you guys soon, and if nothing else, just live simply and remain grateful. We'll talk to you soon.